Over the past 20 years, wind turbines are becoming more and more and more efficient. One of the key reasons for this increase in efficiency and reduction in cost per unit of energy generated is the fact that they keep on getting bigger and bigger and bigger to the point where now they are just ludicrously massive. In fact, the blades are bigger than many football fields. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Really helps support the channel. And it's great to have you. The offshore wind industry has marked a new milestone this week. It seems like this is happening more and more often now. But anyway, with the world's most powerful turbine, a 16 megawatt giant from Gold Wind and China Three Gorges rolling off the production line in East China's Fujian province. This milestone achievement was tweeted by CTG on Wednesday, boasting the turbines world topping per unit capacity. It's 146 meter hub, which is 480 feet and its impeller diameter of 252 meters. That means the diameter of the propellers is 826 feet. That is enormous. Now, incredibly, it's the world's lightest unit per megawatt. So this massive propeller, the world's biggest wind generator, actually has more power per kilo than any other wind turbine in the world. But the thing is, this just keeps on changing every year. We see more and more new wind turbines coming out that are lighter, bigger, and generate more energy. CTG says that at full wind speed, the turbine can generate 34.2 kilowatts of power after rotating once. Just one turn generates 34.2 kilowatt hour of power, meaning you could charge your Tesla Model Y from two spins of this turbine. Two spins would completely charge one electric car. The annual output of just one of the offshore turbines estimated to average over 66 million kilowatt hours can meet the annual demand of 36,000 households and save 22,000 tons of standard coal and reduce 54,000 tons of CO2. That means to power 1 million households, you need less than 28 of these turbines. That is insane. Essentially, 1,000 of these turbines could power all of California. The new offshore wind turbine is the world's largest per unit capacity by a huge margin, a full two megawatts ahead of Siemens Jamesa's 14 megawatt offshore turbine, a prototype of which was installed in September of 2021. GE is using a 13 megawatt Halliade X unit for its massive 3.6 gigawatt Dogger Bank offshore wind project in the UK while the Siemens Jamisa 11 megawatt turbines are the biggest to be installed at a commercial scale so far. The successful rollout of this 16 megawatt unit marks that my country's wind power equipment industry has achieved a historic leap from following to running alongside and then to leading, creating the latest benchmark for the development of global offshore wind power equipment, said CTG Chairman Li Mingshan. Renew Economy says, that he added the massive new turbine has overcome a series of key technological problems, including ultra long flexible blades, large spindle bearings, and miniaturization of ultra large capacity generators. The application of high power offshore wind turbines can greatly save the use of sea areas, Li Mingshan said. Goldwind chief engineer Zai Endi added, the 16 megawatt unit has made important technological breakthroughs in the R&D and manufacturing of key core components, such as large main shaft bearings and ultra long, super lightweight blades. The two Chinese companies say the design of the unit can actively adjust the operation mode for typhoons and other adverse conditions to ensure safe and efficient power generation. You can see really here, right? just how important battery storage is. I mean, the reality is these wind turbines will work in most conditions, but there will be times when there's not quite enough wind to get the optimum amount of power out of these. So there'll be other times when these things are generating just so much power, it's gonna be wasted. So we need battery packs, big battery packs like those Tesla are deploying now in the UK and in many countries around the world, in Australia as well, 
We need those to store the energy from these wind turbines when there's not heaps of wind. Imagine the power we'll have, the excess power generation, as Tony Sieber says, will truly have superpower. And the cost of energy, as Oxford University and many other experts claim, within 20 years will hit a near marginal cost, meaning the cost of energy, even though it's expensive today, will actually become cheaper and cheaper and cheaper to the point where you won't ever consider it as a factor in your future decision making. Renewable energy is the future of the world and it's changing the world so quickly, it's absolutely incredible. Coal mines and coal power plants will pretty much all be shut down by 2050. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again on the next video. Bye bye.